Hi, this is our patient, and we just got a chance to see her final crown and hear her final story. So tell us a little bit about what just happened with your family. Oh, we just had a destination wedding in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, and came back here and had a reception. And we had a time deadline for your treatment. Yeah. Um, we had a front tooth that unfortunately was lost, and we made sure that you appeared at, it was your son's wedding? Right. Right? Your son's wedding with a beautiful smile. Did yeah. that turn out? Absolutely. And uh, all the pictures, have you seen pictures? I haven't seen pictures yet, but I was willing to smile with my teeth showing. <laughs> That's good. And did anybody even notice, or did you even tell anybody? Um, my husband thought my smile was beautiful, and my sister was aware of what I was going through, so she made sure to open wide. <laughs> yeah. Good. And she was happy, too? She was, yeah. Okay. Was there anything particular in this process that uh, was a challenge for you? With your treatment, absolutely not. Prior to, was a tremendous challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe we did the surgical procedure. Um, we were able to put the implant in and put a temporary crown mm -hmm. on top of the implant the same day, if I remember. Right. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. And uh, did that uh, help you in any way? Oh, tremendously. I mean, I was using a flipper tooth prior to that, and it was constant aggravation and gagging on food and limiting my diet as well. So we were able to do that and then your dentist um, who was just learning to do this um, was able to do the final restoration. Absolutely. And I believe the representative from the company was there to help you and help him mm -hmm. um, and that seemed to go well for you. Yep and um, he sent me to May's laboratory I think to make sure we got the color good and all of that. So you went for a custom in-lab shade? Yes. And that was easy, really? They oh, just, yeah. just took some notes and took pictures, maybe? Exactly. Okay. And then right before the wedding, I believe the crown was ready and uh, it was put in place. Three days before we left. <laughs> three days? Wow. Three days. We cut it close. Well, we, we did have to send the crowns back for a recoloring, so that added a week delay. Okay, so there was a little more customization that right. had to be done. Right. But ultimately, the uh, color and, and shape of the tooth is great. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then when you were at your destination wedding, you only got it three days before you went. I assume you were able to chew normal and eat normal. So we had good food uh, yeah. in Dominican. And yes. You were able to eat anything you want and no restrictions. Yep. Does it feel like a natural tooth now? It really does, especially... You know, you slide your tongue across and things like that. I I am hesitant to bite into corn on the cob or crisp apples. I'll still cut those, but that's just going to be my thing. <laughs> You're just a little testy with it. Yeah. A little careful with yeah. it. It's at the beginning. Um, so what would you tell other patients about this experience? I wish I would have come here three, four years ago. It would have been because the bone graft was the traumatic event and as easy as the implant was I, I just kind of feel like I should have been doing things with you a lot sooner. Well, we appreciate that and what advice would you have for doctors who are watching this tape? It, also for patients the flossing I, I've been telling my son you need to floss, you need to floss because he's already got periodontal disease and avoid this if you can. It's not an experience that I highly recommend. Um, suggestions for other doctors? Sure, doctors who um, might be watching this. I think that other doctors may need to be retrained in anesthesia as far as pain and um, giving the patient some confidence, you know, don't talk down to them, because that was what led to my bad experience previously. Okay. Well, I think you've had a good experience. I have had an excellent experience Good. Here. And we, we told you, and I, I could see in your eyes and in your heart when you first came, you were nervous and you had trepidations, but, you know, your doctor said, this guy will... We'll take care of you, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope we have. You have. Okay. Absolutely. Well, thanks for this interview. We appreciate it, and we'll pass this along to people who are nervous, anxious, or maybe just need a change of team. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you.